Well, hey, good day to you. This is Todd. I am a regular dude walking in the Word. We are going through the book of Joshua, and we just spent the past two days uh, looking at uh, taking rest. Um, and and we talked about the first episode, taking rest in assurance of forgiveness. And then yesterday, the rest of assured victory. Joshua chapter 11 and Joshua ch chapter 12 go hand in hand. In jo Joshua chapter 11, you get some of the details of the that final victory of the northern kingdoms uh, fighting against Joshua. And that last verse is was the key verse there where it says, um, and th then the land had rest from war. Uh, let me read all of verse 23. So Joshua took the entire land just as the Lord had directed Moses. And he gave it as an inheritance to Israel according to their tribal divisions. Then the land had rest from war. Okay. Today I want to talk about, it's another thing of rest because it continues on in chapter 12. And this is really kind of just listing off all the kings that were defeated. Okay, it's a, it just uh, it lists them out there. It doesn't give much detail of it, but it just kind of lists off everyone that was defeated, which was quite a list. Um, and I'm entitling this today, The Rest of a Completed Job. When we do, I, I've talked about here a uh, restoration job, and I talked about it in the past couple episodes. When we do um, a restoration job where we do a dry out of a house, um, you know, I have assurance that, uh, you know, I have assurance that um, a victory because I know that I'm going to win the battle of this house. I will get the house dried out based on my experience and based on the equipment that I have and so forth. I know that that will happen, okay? Um, and so I, I rest in that. I don't lose any sleep over, you know, I wonder if this thing is going to dry out. No, I know it will dry out uh, based on the science uh, that's behind it. But you know what? I have even more rest when the job is complete. When I have, uh, when I pull every one la last one of my blowers out of the house, every last one of the dehumidifiers, and I put my moisture meter on the walls, and it's all dry. There's not one ounce of moisture in there. Um, and, I mean, except for the, the moisture that exists in the air. But it's all dry. It's back to the standards it was before that flood happened. Um, and so I, I rest assured in that the job is complete. I'm done. So, uh, you know, and that's what this chapter here is about. Um, taking rest in the job is complete. I'm all done. Okay. Now, this job was given to Joshua. And you can see... But when it says the whole territory was conquered, and then the next, you're going to read in, in chapter 13, God says, you know what? There's more territory to conquer. However, you're not using the whole army to do that. It's just small areas where the individual tribes need to conquer that area where the individual tribe is going to go to. Okay? So God had obviously given um, the parameters of the victory Joshua needed to do. Joshua needed to wipe out... Um, these people groups and, and these areas and then it was up to the individual tribes once they had established where this tribe was settling and this tribe was settling and so forth then those individual tribes you're going to see in verse in chapter 13 they needed to go and conquer that area and it was up to those tribes some tribes did great at it some tribes actually uh, asked other tribes for help hey help us you know do this you know we'll double our for forces if you help us and so they asked for help with that. And then other tribes did terrible. They let the people live there, and it, it was uh, detrimental to them. Okay. So, but I want to focus today on the rest of a completed job. So let me read here today. This is chapter 12 of Joshua, and it's really entitled, The List of Defeated Kings. These are the kings of the land whom the Israelites had defeated, and whose territory they took over, east of the Jordan. From Arnon uh, Gorge... Uh, to the Mount Hermon, including all the eastern side of the Arabah. Sihon, king of the Amorites, who reigned in Heshbon. He ruled over Aar on the rim of the Arnon Gorge, from the middle of the gorge to the Jebek River, which is to the border of the Amorites. This included the half, half of Gilead. He also ruled over the eastern Arabah, from the Sea of Galilee to the Sea of Arabah, that is the Dead Sea, to Beth Jemeshoth, and to the southern word, to the southward uh, below the slopes of Pigscah. In the territory of Og, the king of Basham, one of the last of the Raphites, who reigned in Ashroth and Edrei, he ruled over Mount Hermon, 
Selica, and all of Basham to the border of the people of Gershur and Merkar, and the half and half of Gilead to the border of Sihon, king of Heshbon. Moses, the servant of the Lord, and the Israelites conquered them. And Moses, the servant of the Lord, gave their land to the Reubenites, the Gadites, and the half-tribe of Manasseh to be their possessions. That paragraph there I read in verse 6, well, verse 6, really. Um, that is talking about the land that was on the other side uh, of the river. Okay, we remember at the beginning of this whole series, I talked about the first part of the book of Joshua took place on this side of the river. Then they crossed the Jordan, okay, and now they're conquering the land in the Jordan. But there are two, two and a half tribes that stayed on this side. But they took their soldiers and they went and helped conquer the land. Now that land is all conquered. That the, Everything that they were required to do is done. Now they can come back and they can come back and, and do that. And remember, there'll, there'll still be you know smaller battles, but those are up to the individual tribes to do. Okay. Uh, so verse 7 it says, Here is a list of the kings of the land that Joshua and the Israelites conquered on the west side of the Jordan from Baal Gad to the valley of uh, Lebanon to Mount Halak, which rises towards here. Joshua gave their lands as an inheritance to the tribes of Israel according to their tribal divisions. The lands included the hill country, the western foothills, the Arabah, the mountain slopes, the wilderness, and the Negev. These were the lands of the Hittites, Amorites, Canaanites, Perizzites, Hivites, and Jebusites. These were their kings. Okay, there's a list of a lot of kings here. The king of Jericho, one. The king of Ai, near Bethel, one. The king of Jerusalem, one. The king of Hebron, one. The king of Jermuth, one. All these are one because there's only one king ruling in each of these territories. The king of Lachish, one. The king of Eglon, one. The king of Gezer, one. The king of Debar, one. The king of Yadir, one. The king of Hormah, one. The king of Arad, one. The king of Libna, one. The king of Adullam, one. The king of Madka, one. The king of Bethel, one. The king of Tapua, one. The king of Hafir, one. The king of Aphek, one. The king of Lashron, one. The king of Madon, one. The king of Hazir, one. The king of Shamron, Meron, one. The king of Axpa, one. The king of Tanakh, one. The king of Megiddo, one. The king of Kadesh, one. The king of Jorknam in Carmel, one. The king of Dor in Nabath Dor, one. The king of Goyam in Gilead, one. The king of Terzah, one. 31 kings in all. How about that? Joshua defeated all of those. It was a complete job. There wasn't, he doesn't list off. And he goes, oh, there was 29 kings I defeated, but there's two that got away. Nope. It defeated them all. It was complete. So we can rest, rest assured in the completeness of, of victory that we're going to have. And uh, so we can be thankful to the Lord for that. How he gives us a complete victory. And, and, and it's, it's complete. Not halfway. God is not a halfway a God. He is complete. All right. Let me pray with you. Lord God, thank you for your complete victory. Thank you for everything that you've done in completeness, how you've saved our souls in, completeness, in completeness. Thank you for that, Lord, and the way you walk with us and the way you guide us. In Jesus' name, amen. Hey, thank you for watching. I am a regular dude walking in the Word, and I look forward to seeing you tomorrow as we continue our journey in Joshua, and we're going to be turning the page into Joshua chapter 13 tomorrow. Lord's blessing. I'll see you then.